Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com barre oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule. Ranjangan kami menawarkan banyak bahasa. Sila kunjungi suprememastertv.com slash kataban schedule. So even sinful people or beings, if they repent, they can go to heaven. Mm. At least outside of the three world, meaning they will not ever be destroyed. Anything in the three world, including the three worlds themselves, will be destroyed one day. They are not made to last. Please keep watching to find out more. Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. Today's episode will be presented in English with subtitles in Arabic, Alexis, also known as Vietnamese, Bulgarian, Chinese, Czech, English, French, German, Hindi, Hungarian, Indonesian, Italian, Japanese, Korean, Malay, Mongolian, Persian, Polish, Portuguese, Punjabi, Romanian, Russian, Spanish, Telugu, and Thai. Honjob Soye means welcome in Jeju, warmest greetings, precious viewers. My name is Sangdon. The people of intriguing Jeju Island pray that heavenly rewards await loving beings like you. Jeju is the smallest province of South Korea situated on its largest island. Jeju is located in the Korea Strait, southwest of Chola Namdo province, which it was a part of until it became a separate province in 1946. Its capital is Jeju City. Jeju Island is a volcanic island created entirely from volcanic eruptions hundreds of millions of years ago and consists chiefly on basalt and lava. It is dominated by Halasan, a volcano 1950 meters high, the highest mountain in South Korea. The main island is 1,810 square kilometers, half of which is still naturally forested. Green tea and semi-tropical fruits are widely grown. Thanks to its beautiful beaches and large countryside, Jeju is known as the Island of the Gods and is a popular vacation spot where people can also climb the incredible tough cone Seongsan Ichul Bong, rising straight from the sea to watch the sun rise from the ridge of a crater. Many choose to stroll along one of the Jeju Ole trails and view jagged coasts and narrow lanes dotted with cottage-style homes made from black lava rock. For thousands of years, Jeju evolved its own native religious customs, similar to other Northeast Asian shamanist traditions. The mysterious, unique Pacific Island style Doharubang statues carved from blocks of lava are found all over the island and are the most distinct cultural relic. They have become the primary symbol of Jeju traditions. We are delighted to briefly introduce Jeju Island's unique beauty to you, esteemed viewers. 
We wish you sweet and harmonious days ahead. For over three decades, Supreme Master Ching Hai has illuminated our world with her divine teachings. A fully enlightened master, she imparts the Kuan Yin method of meditation to those desiring to immediately discover the God nature within and to achieve in one lifetime eternal liberation from the cycle of transmigration. The Kuan Yin method has been practiced by all enlightened masters, such as the worship world honored one Shakyamuni Buddha, the worship son of God Jesus Christ, the venerated master and philosopher Confucius, the venerated Lord Krishna, the venerated master and philosopher Lao Tzu, the venerated Lord Mahavira, the beloved prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, the first Sikh Guru, Sri Guru Nanak Dev Ji, and many more. Supreme Master Ching Hai emphasizes that if we always remember God, render selfless service to others, and follow the laws of the universe, we will reach our highest potential as humans and truly understand our purpose on earth. She is an extraordinary living example of compassion, regularly sending material and financial assistance as well as love to refugees, the homeless, natural disaster victims, and others needing relief. Supreme Master Ching Hai is deeply grateful to the beloved God for all the financial help, comfort, and support to the afflicted and needy, and or any good cause over the years as a humble vessel of His compassion and love toward His precious children. Supreme Master Ching Hai respectfully thank all special individuals, organizations, leaders, and governments for all your genuine, loving, ongoing support. May heaven bless you forevermore. We, the Supreme Master Ching Hai International Association members, are also sincerely grateful for your expressive kindness, wishing you the best. Supreme Master Ching Hai receives love and recognition from various organizations, media, governments, and individuals, as well as many awards from them, such as the 2006 Gusi Peace Prize, considered the Nobel Peace Prize of the East, the World Spiritual Leadership Award in 1994, the Mahavir Award in 2008, February 22nd and October 25th, both proclaimed as the Supreme Master Ching Hai Day, an honorary citizen of the United States, etc., and has been honoured throughout the years with numerous other awards and accolades for her outstanding philanthropic and humanitarian deeds.
etc. We apologize for not being able to show many other awards and honors for lack of space and time. Supreme Master Ching Hai respectfully thank all special individuals, organizations, leaders, and governments for all your genuine, loving, ongoing support. May heaven bless you forevermore. We, the Supreme Master Ching Hai International Association members, are also sincerely grateful for your expressive kindness, wishing you the best. A true voice for our beautiful animal friends, Supreme Master Ching Hai promotes the peaceful and loving plant-based diet and ambitions with humanity's awakening to the sacredness of all life. A tranquil and glorious all-vegan world where animals and people live in blissful harmony. Her initiatives to spread the vegan trend are diverse and have included alternative living flyer distribution, the international vegan restaurants, Loving Heart, vegan food product companies, vegan fur products, Supreme Master Television, as well as regularly speaking to influential government and media leaders and participating in televised conferences on climate change, etc. Whether we are aware of it or not, her efforts have had an enormous influence on global awareness of the animal-friendly lifestyle and how this benevolent way can bring lasting peace among nations while saving our planet from climate change and disasters. Over the years, Supreme Master Ching Hai has travelled worldwide from the Americas to Africa, from Europe to Oceania and held hundreds of discourses with the public and her disciples on a variety of spiritual topics. In another work-related phone call on Wednesday, April 29, 2020, our most beloved Supreme Master Ching Hai spent precious time to share her love and wisdom, answering some questions that staff members had on various topics. Today, we are blessed to present the insightful conference entitled Whoever Repents Will Go to Heaven, Part 1 of 3 on Between Master and Disciples, given in English. Master. I'm okay. How are you? I'm okay. I'm, I'm good. Thank you, Master. How about all the girls? Oh, all the girls are good. Happy. <laughs> Any news from Master? Oh, not much. Not much. It's just I'm very sad that I last week because my dog died and I didn't have a chance to hug her the last time. But the inside Master came and, and get her to the new room. I was sad, but then uh, I'm not sad. Sad physically, not sad spiritually. Okay. Yes, Master. She said she wanted to sacrifice for peace. A little of her part, I got. I said, never mind, you big heart. I wrote in my diary, you small dog, big heart, etc. This uh, smallest of the group. Uh, there's a smaller one, but she's not in the same group. Uh, oh. The smallest one I rescue afterwards, okay? Yes, Master. Uh, but this is the smallest from the group of the black and white uh, herd of dogs. She don't eat a lot. Normally, she never likes to eat a lot. I have to always feed her extra when she comes to my house. And she eats. But has to be tasty, you know, with uh, maybe seaweed, or fake uh, squid, stuff like that, you know. <laughs> strong flavor. Then she eats. And that's why she's very skinny, you know. But she's the, the most energetic and the most expressive of all dogs. I mean, all the dogs love me and care about me, but she's the most expressive because whenever I cough, she, she always immediately run from anywhere to come in and check on me. Wow. Ask if I'm okay. That was a habit from last life. Last life, she was also adopted. One of the dogs named Boyo. Oh. He always wanted me to go out in the sun because at that time I cough a lot. Later, I found out it was not too good, you know, and I had to have operation. I could not walk properly for two years. A lot of medicine, a lot of care. And I uh, donate 
hundreds of thousand dollars for those hospitals in God's name, <laughs> in God's mercy. After I recovered, I was very grateful because the doctors are the best. Thank God. The most dangerous operation, and they did it well. And all the staff, all the doctors even not on duty and come to see me also. <laughs> wow. Before I operate, just to thank me for some donation I made before, you know, for their project. Ah, okay. Yeah, for the poor in India and the Red Cross. They all came just to support me. Yes, Master. So, oh, this doctor, he's a genius. So I wanted to donate something for him, but he said no, for the hospital, because they never had that before, so they make a new account for charity. And that's good. So later, maybe other patients, if they want, they can donate to that. The, the doctors, the hospital, sometimes they need uh, new equipment, new research, and also they can train uh, other student doctors to be from other country or other hospital, you know? Yes, Master. She don't care too much about eating, but she's so energetic, more than any other dog. She's come the highest, she runs the fastest, mm -hmm. and she runs the longest. And then, uh, because she's so skinny, I always put her on my shoulder and carry her around, dancing together, and talking to her, telling her things, and show her the view from on high. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not very high. But yes, Master. Well, she likes that, and now I cannot do no more. Oh. Not even the last time before she died. Oh, Master. She died so quick. Thank God for that, at least. Yes. Oh, bless her. At least she didn't suffer long. Yes, Master. Bless her noble heart. And oh, she yes. immediately went to a new room from Chimkotu. Thank God. But I do miss her physically, you know, her, her eyes and her run around, mm. her jumping and her settle down on my shoulder. Yes. Like she would never leave, you know, mm -hmm. I have a feeling. But otherwise, she's... She's such a good, good girl, you know. So loving, so loving, so kind, so loyal. Considerate and so worried about me. That's why whenever I call, I have to run somewhere in the bathroom, close the door so she don't have to hear it. Oh. I worry that it makes her concern too much, you know. Yes, Master. And now she sacrificed for peace. Wow. <sighs> it's a very small part, but it's her big heart, you understand? Yes, Master. It's Goodness. not about how much you can do. It's not about how much you offer, it's about how much you put into it. Yes, Master. Yeah, sometimes I wish I had more, multi-multi-billion air so I can give more to the world, you know, physically. So I can only give what I can, okay? Yes, Master. It's already a lot. Uh, it's okay, it's okay. Mm. I'm uh, also thankful for you guys. You have anything you need, but you live simple life like I do, yeah? Yes, Master, yeah, it's good. All this time in retreat, I wash my clothes, I clean the house. Everything, okay? Oh, wow, okay. For myself, so that the helper don't have to bring my food every day. Yes, Master. If uh, they cook for themselves and they bring me, you know, some days. But some days I take care of myself or I eat cold, clean leftover. And then so they don't always bring it up every day. They don't see me because they just put outside at the gate and then I go out get when they're gone. And there's a bell. Just uh, you plug in bell. Oh, okay. You work about 300 meters. And before they come, they ring. So after they left far, uh, two, three hundred meters, then they ring again. Okay. And I know, okay, food or documents are there. Then I go out and get. Yes, Master. Only out of the door. <laughs> okay. In the yard. I don't go out the gate during retreat. Wow. And during retreat, I don't go out the door even. Absolutely not. So I'm also in lockdown, okay? <laughs> yes. If that is a comfort to anyone in the world at all. I'm in lockdown many months already. Yes, Master. And continue, if I can. I don't mind being locked down forever. Oh, wow. Yeah, in sympathy with the world and people who are in prison, wrongly accused, or uh, all the people who are locked down in this world. I mean, we are locked down anyway, with the pandemic or not. If we don't change our way of life, we cannot get out of here and go back to home. Mm. Even. All my dogs are good. Even if they don't die for peace, they are helping me every day, protecting me, telling me things. Oh. Bless them. If sometime I would like to change the place or something, they say, don't, because it's that because of this. Or even don't go out now because the workers are there. Wow, they know that too. Wow. Oh, they know many things. I don't have time to tell you. <laughs> well, maybe next time, huh? What? And the snake tried to get another dog, so I, I move the dog somewhere. Okay. Okay. It's just so many work to do, small things, but... Every small thing add up, you know, and I'm disturbed with all these leftover uh, zealous ghosts. I just 
send them away again because yes. they made trouble for me again. So oh my I, goodness. Either go to hell. Okay. The fourth level if they repent sincerely. Yes. Because sometimes they didn't want to do anything harm to me. For example, one of the demons used to disturb me a lot. And I said, why did you do this? You know what I'm doing is good. Good for all beings. I don't want anything out of it. And you know I don't harm two demons. Even the third level God, he was jealous. Mm. He replaced him already, so it's better now. But at that time, he was like in competition with me. He worried that I gained so much. I said, why do you do this? He worked directly with the third level God. Mm. So we didn't want to do it, but all the shadow worlds are losing souls all the time. And then soon, what happened to us? You know, we will have no more... Uh, souls, more citizens. I say, yeah, you don't have to. Or you change. You follow me and all the souls will be in paradise. Mm, yeah. And you can ride forever. I don't compete with you. But he said then, we don't have the power over the 93.9 worlds. Oh, such a greed. Wow. You have the third world. That's enough already. Yeah. What for you want to ride in the 93.9 worlds? What's the use of that? Yeah. You have more soul, you have less soul, what's the use? You should be more enlightened by now, by all the saying that have been teaching in your words as well. You just have to follow me, change your way, because I work for the benefit of the soul to stop the suffering, that they have to endure all these eons and continue. It's not fair. They're innocent, and you guys trap them into doing bad, and then punish them. They recycle forever in this dark uh, domain and hell and suffering. That's not right. You know it's not right. So that uh, rep uh, say, oh, yeah, we know it's not right. I say, not we, you. If that God of yours doesn't change, I will have to replace him. And I did. I replaced with uh, Yosuke God. Oh, wow. Yeah. But okay. the name is still the, uh, keep the same, so all souls don't get confused. I mean, the other souls who are not initiated. Yeah. Wow. When did Master replace him? That was last year. Oh, wow. Okay. I don't remember what day. <laughs> Uh, if I look into the diary, it's there. Uh, Amazing. But you guys still continue to reveal that name because the name is the position. Yes, Master. Not name of that being. It's not private, okay? Okay, yeah. Uh, nothing changed except the being changed, yeah? It's easier to work with my own Yes, position. for sure. Uh, otherwise, it's very difficult to work with competitive people. I tell that being, you have to change, okay? Otherwise, I have to dethrone you. Yes, you have a choice. He still doesn't want, so I say, okay, you must go. Yeah, good. You go and live with Maya, there yeah, you get on well with each other. Wow. Same terrible mind, same possessive, competitive mind, same narrow mind, just go. I hope they change as well. Oh, I don't care if they do yeah. change. There's enough suffering. Yeah. I have no sympathy for this type of lowly attitude, lowly thinking. I have no sympathy. They can stay there forever, truly, because they have been wrecking misery and suffering on oh many worlds on a long long ever you cannot even count wow they can stay in hell locked forever whoever this time don't repent then be locked forever yes master that is that it's I... done and it decided okay. okay thank you they don't deserve anything okay oh talking to you about this and uh, my blood eyes because i was still feeling the, you know, that feeling at that time mm. uh, uh, Good love was very ill, yeah, and he was crying. By the way, at that time, I, I regulate all this together. And not at the same time with Maya, but afterwards, I discover, you know, they're talking nonsense and trying to make trouble for me more. So I had enough with you guys. Either you change or you go. I gave them a chance. I gave all the demons who are against me a chance. It's not that I'm not fair. Oh, for sure. Understand. Must is very fair. Find the thing and take the chance or not. That's the way we do this time of the life, you know, war now. It's not like before, lenient and wait and patience, okay? Yes, it's the order of heaven right now. Now it's just black and white. Go to heaven or you go to hell, accordingly. So even sinful people or beings, if they repent, they can go to heaven. Mm. At least outside of the three worlds, meaning they will not ever be destroyed. Anything in the three worlds, including the three worlds themselves, will be destroyed one day. They are not made to last. Even though the fourth world is also in the shadow world, they are not to be destroyed. You see, their construction, the makeup of their level is lasting. Different material, if you can call that material. And the Lord of the fourth level, you know his name, I told you already. Yes, Master, yeah. We are not supposed to speak it mm -hmm. out loud, no. yeah. 
He is uh, very gracious to coordinate with me, uh, to work. So whoever repents, I can ask the uh, EOSC guardian to bring them to the four level. Yeah. Yes. So out of destructive sphere forever. Uh, that I can do for them. You know, that's the best of it. That is amazing. Hallelujah. Yes. Yeah, not all of them can go to the new rim, but they go to the fourth. And then they could go to the fifth later if they are diligent and study with other masters there. Okay, huh? Okay, thank you. Wow. They are safe forever. So whoever courage enough, follow my instruction. Follow this offer, yeah? Otherwise, they have to go to hell, be locked there forever. Okay. They can play with each other, yeah? Making each other suffer. I don't care a hair, really. Because they have been very bad, 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 bad. They don't deserve even leniency, but that is already a, a good chance they should take. For sure. Some are so scared of some working direct with uh, Satan, Queen Maya, forever already. So they, they just became like him, so they don't want to change. They think they're okay as they are. Yes, Master. They just cannot change because they're too low, too, too far gone. I feel better now about the dog, but mm. I can never sleep well. I don't really feel so good because the world is still suffering. But God sits so many uh, beings, you know, even lowly beings like spiders. They try to comfort me a lot these days, all of them. Oh. Yeah, report the same thing about my dog. Tell me the same thing about world peace. It will be, okay? Oh, yes. Thank uh, but God. Too long for my liking. Too long for my heart. I say, but meanwhile, they're suffering so much. We have to do something to hasten it. It's too long, too long. <sighs> I don't want to tell you the time because I don't want the leftover, the Maya racket wrong again. Yes, Master. I have to be more careful because they really are all concentrate on me right now. Oh. To trouble me, just to obstruct my work. Be careful what I disclose and what I not, okay? Okay. Yeah. The thing I told you is already done, so I can tell you, okay, huh? I understand. Okay, thank you. Anyway, I want to tell you and the girls and other boys, our SMTV team, that all of you are doing your best. And I am very proud and very pleased. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Master, for your love and your guidance. Of course, sometimes, uh, you know, our mind causes trouble. But uh, we know the goal we, we want to achieve. We know the direction that we're going, okay? Yes, vegan we, world. Every negative thought out. Yes, Master. No, no, that's not what I want. Get lost. Go, go, mm. go. <laughs> I just want to help the world. I just want to work with Master for the good of all, yeah? Exactly, thank you, yes. Exactly, you know, for the suffering, yeah. Even though we work hard, sometimes we sleepless and forego the meals just because of deadline and all that. We are never having so much suffering at other beings. Even just to talk about the animals in slaughterhouse, it's not oh. any invisible hell or anything else. You can see it's hell already. Our world, many are practicing hell, you know, by doing war and torturing animals and humans like that. They're practicing hell. They are influenced by hell. So we have to do our work, okay? Continue. Not waver, yeah. not falter. Yes. No matter what, keep bugging and telling us otherwise. Yeah, we ignore that. Yes. Yeah, anything you, you, you want, you just ask, okay, huh? We do, we will, yes. Physically, you, you're fine, I know that. You have clothes, you have food delivered to you, and you have your uh, private place, even though it's, a <laughs> it's a simple, but, you know, it's your private place. You can mm -hmm. retire to and meditate and contemplate. Be thankful. Many people don't have anything. Truly, they don't have anything mm -hmm. under the scorching sun or freezing snow. And the refugees and the war ravaged citizens. Oh my God, I can never feel good in this world. I just have to push aside sometimes in order to clear my mind to work. I tell all heavens and earth, you know I can lay down my life anytime, many thousand million times if I can help all beings to have peace and happiness and liberation. I would never, never hesitate. It's just that that doesn't work that way. That won't help. I help a small amount, but not a big picture, okay? So I just have to continue. Despite any situation or any heartbreaking feeling for this world and the, the hell and everything. Okay, so you guys are comfortable, yeah? No matter what, right? Yes, yes we're comfortable, Master. Yes, thank it's you. also okay. I ask them, they're okay. Yes. Okay. We are in different places, it's good. Okay, so we have more space, you know, for me. 
each other. Yes. Also, the balance. Like the world has four corners and uh, three directions, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we spread it out like that, different groups. We don't have to be together. Love can never be separated. So it doesn't matter where we live. Yes, Master. Always together. I told my dogs the same. I said, I love you forever. More than any treasure in this world. But we don't have to be together all the time. You okay there you are. And I even gave them initiation. <laughs> so oh, <wow>. you <laughs> think of God, meditate. And I do my job. I meditate also for the suffering of the world and beyond. Yeah. Yes, Master. They okay with that, and they still continue to protect me from afar. They tell me this and that. <laughs> wow, that's so good. Yeah, because sometimes I don't have time to think too much of what. Yes. The gods has told me also. Yeah. Oh, you'll be amazed to know what the dog knows. Oh, yes. Uh, that's one of the questions that I've got to ask. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> Just ask. Okay. Well, uh, the question about yeah. Master's dogs, what, what um, do they have anything to say to humanity during these um, urgent times? Excuse me, Just one second, okay? Yes, Master. <coughs> Don't worry, I'm well, okay? Yes, Master. Because whenever <coughs> I, I think too much about war or if we mention about the war, I got... Oh. I got some... A little physical disturbance, mm -hmm. yeah. But I, I'm well. I can weather all that. Don't worry, okay? Okay, Master. Oh, by the way, I need to give a message, okay? Yes. Before you ask questions, this message is important. This is a message to the end. I cannot spell it all out because I'm worried. The negative leftover will make trouble. So this is a message for the end. Please pray and give thanks. Not to worry. He will be fine. And message. The people concerned, they will know. They will understand. Okay? Ah, uh, okay. Okay, so, anyway. All right. Concerning the dogs. I, I never ask the dogs, so let me ask them <laughs> if they want to say anything, okay? Yes, please. Thank one, you. One moment. I have to send them a telepathic question, yeah? Okay. Talk to you soon, okay? Yes, Master. Okay, this is what they want to say, okay? Yes. I just want to ask who, who is the representative for all of them. Oh, oh, the little one. Okay, she knows the one. Anyway, she's very clever. This is the message of the representative of all my dogs, okay? Okay. They all agree, they all know it. Like this quote, for the world to have lasting Peace. Go vegan. End quote. That's it. Okay. Perfect. That's it. Okay. Oh, oh thank you. Thank you to Master's beloved dogs. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> All of you. We have some more questions, Master. Um, Who are we? Somebody with you? No, no. It's just me. But I say we because the questions have come from um, uh, other staff. Oh. I asked them just in case if Master calls to send me some questions that uh, they want asked. Okay, good, good. Oh. How many questions are there? Maybe about 20 or so. Maybe you didn't you didn't count. Oh, 20? Oh, God. Okay. Around 20, yeah. Yeah, we try to be brief, okay? Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> Master has said that we don't need to feed hungry ghosts anymore. Does that mean Master has sent them uh, away or liberated them? And does that include zealous demons? Yeah, either they go to heaven or they go to hell. Okay. So no need, okay? Yes. For you guys around here, yeah? Ah, okay. okay. Disciples also, they should not bother, okay? Okay. And uh, that, that means we don't need to worry about leaving food untouched for more than nine minutes? Hey, you better be safe then, sorry, okay? Okay. Just eat first and then work. <laughs> uh -huh. I, I know I tell you this, but I don't always do that. 
but it's okay. Just just uh, recite the holy God's name, yeah? Yes, Master. Yeah. Eat. Try to finish, okay? Before okay. you work again, okay? Yes, Master. I know sometimes we cannot because of our Supreme Master television work deadline and all that. I also cannot. Sometimes I leave it and I forgot all about it altogether and later I can't eat no more. I don't have any more appetite. Understand. Maybe some insect or something uh, land on it, you know? Yes, yes. Oh, oh. I don't want to eat anymore. <laughs> okay. Just uh, try if you can, you know? Okay. A few minutes, maybe you can afford it. Just eat it all, you know, because it's better to eat all in one go. It's better for your stomach, okay? Yes, Master. Better for your health, okay? Okay. You you can just take a small portion on your plate first and eat that. And take another small portion, okay? In case you have to leave it. And you can eat again later, yeah? Okay. Just put them away, cover them, so that no insect will come mm, and spoil it, okay? Understand. And Thank if you drink, you just uh, put it in a smaller cup and drink it. The rest you can still drink. Thank you. If you yes. have extra plate or extra cup, you just ask them to buy for you. Okay. okay? Um, we, we have some uh, questions regarding the, the COVID pandemic. Okay. Uh, most mainstream media have reported that the COVID-19 virus likely came from the wet market. Uh -huh. Why aren't more people making the connection between the virus outbreak the wet market and eating meat, because it seems like a logical conclusion to make. Is their perception somehow being interfered with? Uh, any interference from other yes. things? Uh, yeah, this, this is the energy, this angry energy, this is unbenevolent energy in the world because of the karma that we made. And the heaven also feel very, very furious over our treatment to each other and mm. the lesser beings, you know, like animals, yeah? Uh, yes. The lesser, but doesn't mean they are less. They are more intelligent. They, in the Bible, we say, ask the animals, and they will tell you. Yeah. Exactly. Ask the fish, ask the birds, and they will teach you. Remember? Yes, Master. Yeah. Animals have a position in the world, in the universe, in the eyes of God, and we treat them like dirt, more than dirt. It's not just about the killing, only terminating their life and torturing. Yes, Master. Due to some uh, misbelief. Like you have to eat the flesh without the blood. It's not like that. When it mentions blood, it means don't eat anything with blood. Yes. Meaning the life, we have life. It's like nowadays we have a saying, say, don't eat anything that has a face. Remember, some people say that. Yes. Some are vegetarian people are advised like that. So the other people, we understand, you know, it has a face. That means it has a life. It has a soul in it. It has a living in it. Yes, Master. So... When, uh, when the old master say don't eat anything that has blood, because it has life in it. That means have life. You don't kill any life. Yes. And then people now, they just cut the throat of the poor innocent mm -hmm. animal, let them quell in and, and, and spill in blood and while they are suffering and trampling to squeeze out the last blood and then they eat it. That is not it. Mm. No, master. No. You understand? I, I, I don't have enough words to say it. Understand, Master. Many, too many misunderstandings in religious uh, yeah. uh, writing, okay? Misinterpretation, misunderstanding, and misleading humans all this time. And, uh, and then they accumulate too much, too much karma. Torturing animals and, and cut their throat alive or skinning them alive and all that. This is the, the work of devil. Should not be a work of human. Yes. Should be the work in hell, not in the human world. Yes, Master. Yeah. For sure. I'm not afraid if they're angry with me or do anything. Just I have to tell the truth. Yes, Master. I am angry myself. It's understandable. Yeah, but this is also because of the work of the, the Satan. You know, they they push people to write it wrong, to interpret it wrong, just to harm beings, harm humans, and harm animals, so that the karma, as you saw, so, so you reap, continue forever in a circle. Then they can control all the time, because the beings can never be liberated with all these uh, horrible deeds that they do. And with war and with, with the animals. Okay. This is not your question, huh? Your question is to come from the wet market, from animals, right? Yes. Why aren't people making that connection that they should stop eating meat? They have even proof of that. They have uh, 
uh, make experiments with some of the uh, pangolin, and uh, they saw the strain of uh, COVID-19 in there is the same as the uh, strain in human, you know, in the beginning. So it stemmed from there, and I have checked oh. inside that it really stemmed from the animals from there. There's no other places, oh, okay. all the sources despite all the rumors. It's not true. The truth is the COVID-19 stem from the animals, uh, okay. wild animals, from that wet market, okay? Yes, Master. Even is it from other wet market or from somewhere else, it's because it stem from wild animals, okay? And they carry by human all over, okay? All over China, all over the world. Because they are always tourists, okay? Mm -hmm. Yes, Master. Or exchanges of uh, humans' uh, resource, or humans' uh, manpower, or human study, or human uh, cooperating. Yeah. Yes, master. And always humans running around the world nowadays. Yeah. So very easy. A few hours you're in China. A few hours you'll be in Europe, etc. So the, the the carriers bring the strain all over the world, and it stems from there. Yes. So those rumors, because I saw on the internet, some media outlets were saying that um, maybe it came from a lab. No. No. It didn't come from any lab. It came from the wild animal, from the wet market, and exactly from Wuhan. I checked inside with heaven and with the, the gods of epidemic. They, they oversee many things, yes. Wow. I have to check with the exact God. I can't just talk to any God. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> they have their, their, their duty and they're into it and they're more detailed. Uh, even the Yosku God, not all of them in charge of everything. Okay, so there are other gods in charge of different departments. Yes, yes. And in this world, I have to ask the shadow God. Like something, I have to ask the, the God of war. It's not like he's making war. He's in charge of overseeing what happened in the war and make record. So he knows more than any other. I can't even ask the Oscar God for that particular question that I asked. I cannot tell you, okay? Okay, Master. I don't want to tell you. I cannot tell you everything. Just mm -hmm. a general. Even if we have a saying that like uh, heaven's secret should not be divulged. But I reveal too many things. When it's already happened, I can, but uh, if I re reveal it before, while I'm still alive and while I'm still fighting with the negative, then they will know it and then they will make it uh, upside down and say, I'll prolong it, delay it, obstruct it. Oh. Did I answer already all of your question about the animals uh, oh. in the virus? Yes, Master. Because some people also run around the world or for some reason, you know, business or whatever, uh, but they don't look sick. They don't even have any symptom because they, are, they have this immunity to that particular strain of, of COVID, okay? You can say that in scientific terms, but in a spiritual domain, we say because he, he doesn't have a bad karma for that. He has very good merit in the past life or in this lifetime to protect him. Yes. Or yes. her. Therefore, he can run around, he look healthy, but he can pass it on to other people. While talking to each other, you know, face to face, or eating in the same restaurant, drinking coffee together and talking, and then the the air carry out their droplets, or the air they breathe carry out, spread out the, the, the virus. So the, the mask doesn't help 100%, but it helps somehow. Yeah. Actually, this is just physically speaking, yeah. You have to really have good merit, benevolent merit, in order to protect yourself. But we do what we can in the world. We do what we think is logical, is the best. We still wear the mask, wear the face shield, wear hat, wear gloves, if you absolutely have to go out. Yes. Yes, Master. Please refer to Master's General Hygiene Guidance. Log on to Master's Tips on COVID-19.com. So you guys here are safe because you stay together and you don't have to go out. You just work inside, you know, the office and in your vicinity and you have oxygen around because a lot of trees also help your immune system, yeah? We're grateful for that, thank yeah, you. Yeah, and we have a lot of sun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Where you live, better than where I live, you know, it was raining all the time, almost <laughs> every day. And never mind, but I'm also good immune. I'm stronger now. I told you already before, yeah? I was stronger. Long time ago, I said I feel stronger, yeah?
yeah? Yes. Before I, I was uh, weaker because at that time the negative was too strong and the EOSCO has not been mature enough. Uh, but after it's better and better, better and better now and sometimes I have sickness and even accident but I recover very quick. Thank God for that. Or I just pass it by. Wow. Today I'm thanking all the protecting gods, yeah, and heavens and whoever. I say I don't care about my life. I can lay it down any time. Honestly, everyone, all heavens and earth know that. That's why they're helping me. Thank God. Because they know my love for humans and other beings. Every time I ask, will we ever have, you know, peace? I say your love will win. Oh. And now sometimes they say your love and our love, you, I, yours, love. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the group, our group, you know, uh, you know, our disciples and oh, wow. who would like mind it, yeah, we win. It just takes too, too long for my liking. Even one more day yeah. is too long already for all the suffering animals. I keep telling them, I don't forget you. I won't forget you. I won't leave you. Oh, thank God. Thank if you. If you suffer now, please bear it. I will take you up. I will take you back home. I will not leave one of you coming back here to suffer again. Oh, thank Promise you. them to the animals. That's the best I can do for them, for the moment. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I can never cry enough, my God. You don't know. You don't know how much suffering I, I bear in my heart because others suffer. Okay. Uh, yeah, Master. Master. About the uh, the lab in uh, Wuhan, some people blame the Chinese for the outbreak. And the Chinese government, apparently, they've lost a, a lot of money because of this uh, closing of the market. Uh, why would they be blaming the Chinese? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Well, they blame each other anyway. Oh. The Chinese blame the American. Yeah. <laughs> American slap. <laughs> okay? Yes, Master. I, I told you already it came from wild animals in Wuhan. That's the origin. So, the thing is, the Chinese government has done a very big goodwill already, no yes. matter what. They have closed immediately the wet market where the wild animals are being kept and killed, you know, fresh there and other produce as well. They close it, close the wild animals uh, meat uh, business, which uh, cost them a lot of billions of dollars, uh, uh, on 70 plus billions of dollars. That's a big money for yes. any country to lose. So regardless, whatever rumors, I think the Chinese government and the Chinese people as a whole has done very, very big steps, big goodwill steps, and done a big favor to the whole world already, to the animals and to the better karma of the whole planet. So we, we can just thank them at least, okay? Okay. Not keep blaming back and forth, back and forth. You can blame forever, but the problem has to be solved. The problem is the pandemic. And they, the governments and uh, researchers of all over the world should be united together to fight this pandemic, not fight each other, yeah? Yes, Master. Thank you, Master. Master, some, some people or some governments have accused the Chinese of hiding the real figures of the dead and of the infection from the coronavirus. Why would they accuse them like this? And sometimes they're accusing each other. But it's, it, it could be true, you know? i tell you why. Yeah. Because in the beginning, nobody even know that this is from coronavirus disease, okay? Or oh, infection. Nobody would know. Even the Chinese wouldn't know. Even now, they, they just give it a name, but they have no idea of the nature of this virus. That's why they couldn't find the, the cure so easily, yeah? Some people with mild symptom or easy to treat and then they, they recover. But there is no exact cure and or vaccine against this virus. So of course, in the beginning, it was even worse. Nobody knew anything. The people, they just cough, 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 and then they just die. Mm -hmm. So they probably were diagnosed uh, as uh, pneumonia, yeah, or, or, or flu, and die. Only later that they found out that this is infectious and is an epidemic nature, then they begin to do more research. So the symptoms keep persisting similarly in different people. So they begin to notice that. So even China, where it originated, they wouldn't know, okay? They, they didn't mean to hide or anything. Maybe some would try or thinking that it's better for the economy or for the uh, sake of the nation, not to mention. Some maybe have that idea or maybe some did that. 
uh, on purpose. But uh, I don't think the Chinese as a whole want to hide it, okay? They just did not know. Maybe the figure would be more. Just like it is more now still, you know, more than the official uh, announcement of the death and all the infected people. Just that uh, it's difficult to figure out, especially the beginning. But you can see the Chinese has the goodwill. Very obviously, immediately they quarantine people and they treat their people and they did their best to con contain it. And they contain it fast, okay, as much as they can. They're only human. They did what they can. They didn't mean to to hide, to infect other people. What for? They infect also their own people. And immediately they closed the wet market. We cost them. 74 billion dollars, you knew already. Yes, Master, yeah. Or more even, yeah? As, yes, I, I saw on the internet 74 billion it was valued at. Yes, yeah, so cannot uh, keep uh, blaming Chinese or blaming each other, you know, just have to try to work together to find a cure for people, people's lives at stake. Many doctors die, many nurses die already. Mm. We cannot just let it be for nothing and blaming each other, wasting time. Yeah. have to be united and find a cure quick as possible. Pray also, even the government or anyone who should, should pray f to heaven for more leniency so that they can find a cure quick to mm -hmm. save lives and be vegan. Advise everyone to be vegan. That's the best solution, okay? Not blaming each other. Huh? Makes sense, Master. Okay. okay. Um, I think, you know, uh, they... Uh, Accusing each other, blame each other, uh, because they they're so so worried. Also, especially the leaders, they they have big responsibility and facing with this kind of pandemic is like uh, never known before, and don't know what the future will bring. So yes. they just uh, acting out of worry, you know, anxiety, uh, panic, you know, frustration. Mm -hmm. They don't really mean anything bad, I don't think, okay? Yes, Master. Just like sometimes uh, the parents, when the children are ill, you know, and they just worry so much, they just, you know, talking loud to each other or argue or blaming each other, yeah? Yes. Out of worry, you know, because they have great responsibility for their nations and their people, yeah? Ah, uh, yeah. They just, they don't know what to do. Uh, woman, you can see it's a very uh, uh, desperate situation for them. It is, yes. They just say anything, but they don't mean to blame or accuse anyone. It's just a kind of confusing, okay? Yes, Master. It's human emotion, okay? Mm. They even say it came from uh, a lab in America. But nevertheless, these rumors has a good point, okay? Yes. That humans should never tamper with this uh, uh, dangerous substance, yeah? Uh -huh. Like uh, bio-warfare, you know? Yes. Something like they use a virus or bacteria to kill enemies? Yes, yes, Master. You have no enemies mm. except Satan, okay? Except devils. Yes, Except master. the devils, we have no enemy, okay? We all have one common enemy, the devil, that's trying to separate us, that's trying to ingrain, uh, you know, negative thinking or warlike thinking or killing idea in our head and, and harming each other and warring with each other and quarreling with each other. This is the only enemy we have, the devil, okay? Yes, Master. Satan, Maya, mm. and their subordinates. Yeah. Uh, oh, to talk about that, oh. that pain, I'm telling you, physical pain. Oh, no. I really hate these guys. I don't wrong, normally hate anybody, but I hate these guys. Oh, I never feel sorrow, repentant, or remorse to send them to hell. They will be okay there, you know? They don't suffer the way we do. Oh, really? No, they have their own world, and they just do what they do. Oh. They want. So I'm not, like, punishing them anything. I just lock them up so that they don't harm us or any innocent beings anywhere anymore. You understand? Yes, Master. Hell, for us, is terrible because they keep punishing and torturing souls down there, okay? Yes. Because the soul has not shed all the bodies yet. They still have the astral body. And it feels painful, just like you have physical body. Yes, Master. Because it's the second level of the body. So if they put you in hell, you suffer so much, just like you suffer here. You feel it. Mm -hmm. And it feels like forever, of course. But for them, hell, they don't punish themselves. Yes, Master. 
They can just stay there and do what silly, stupid, evil thing they do to each other or themselves. I don't care. If they want to punish, torture each other, go ahead. Okay? Let them take the medicine. Yes. Okay. Their own medicine. Okay? Yeah. That's what I said. I'm always angry. Sorry. <laughs> Understand. Uh, Are you think Master never uh, lose temper? But I do lose temper with this, with this evil being. Okay? Yes. Don't tell me about them anymore because I get blood pressure. <laughs> okay. Because I get mad. I have to confess to you, I get mad. Okay? Understand. Not always calm and cool and place it and compose the way you think. Yes, Master. Not with them. Not when it comes to suffering of others. So it's good to mention that the human should never tamper with this anymore. We'll stop, destroy all these labs, okay? Yes. Except when to conduct some experiments just to help humans to cure. Okay, Master. Not for war, okay, huh? Yes. Yeah, if you cannot handle it, then don't do it. You know, because it will harm you and harm outside people if it leaked out. And if the bacteria or the virus leak out, yeah? Yeah. Okay. It's dangerous. Why aren't people making that connection? Because it's uh, it's in mainstream media uh -huh. that um, it came from Wuhan, you know, most likely it came from Wuhan, from yeah, yeah. a pangolin, from... That is definitely 100%. I check inside with heaven. Yes. Definitely from Wuhan, from my animals. Thank you for checking. Yeah, yeah. So why aren't people in the world changing quickly enough yet? Because they're not making the connection. Okay, okay. Yes. They don't want to. Oh. But if it's any excuse we do to blame anything except their own uh, habit to a meat-eating diet. Because I cannot put down that piece of meat and replace it with a piece of uh, vegetable protein. So they just say anything. Don't listen to it. It's not true. Yes. They just don't want to put down that piece of meat. Either be too ignorant or too attached or too habitually ingrained by the negative, by evil power. And yes. it's difficult for them to shake it off just yet. Yes, I tell you a joke just to, to make it light, okay, huh? Okay. Three workers go to work together. And one of them named maybe John, okay? Mm -hmm. Say that if... Today, I have a cheese sandwich again. I will uh, jump down from this building. So he opened, and there's a cheese sandwich. Uh -oh. So he jumped. Yeah, it is not so funny, but it's funny in a way, okay, huh? It is, yeah. And the next uh, worker, before he opened, he said, Today, if it's a potato salad again, then I will jump also. And he opened his potato salad. So he jumped. So the third person said, today, if uh, gula soup again, then I would jump. So three of them all jump. And then at the funeral, the three wives talk together. Yes. And the third one said, I don't know why Thomas did not tell me that he doesn't like gula soup. If he did, I would have made something else, okay? Because uh, when I make gula soup, the first time we met, and he said he liked it so much, so much, he could eat it every day, okay? <laughs> so I made it every day. I'm so sorry about that. And then the second wife, she said, if Olivia told me that he didn't like potato salad, I, I would not have made it. But the first the time we date, you know, I made it for him, and he said, oh, this I can eat every day, you know? <laughs> he loved it so much. Yeah. That's why I make it every day. Why didn't he tell me that he had enough, and then I would make something else? So the third wife, the one that first jumped, say, I don't understand John either. If he didn't like cheese sandwich, then why did he make it every day for himself? <laughs> <laughs> oh no. So we make our trouble and we try to blame anything else. We just change it. Yes. Don't eat animal anymore. Then we don't have this animal transmitted disease, at least, right? It's so obvious. Yes, Master. Very obvious, Master. Yeah, we have mad cow disease from cow, no? Yes. We have pig disease from pig, no? Yes. We have fish something, disease from mercury from fish that's undetectable, mm -hmm. that's incurable as well. Yes, Master. Or salmonella from egg, yeah? Yes. From chicken. We have bird flu from chicken, etc., from other fowl species, etc. So it's all from animals up to now. Yes. Up to now, all the, the terrible disease and epidemic, uh, pandemic we had is from animals. So it's obvious. What for blaming any lab? Exactly. A lab. Oh, yeah. God. 
Okay, huh? Okay, thank this you. This is so obvious. Look at the history, yeah, of all this pandemic. Recently, not to talk about longer ago, yeah? Yes. The, the Spanish flu also came from animals. Yes, Master. It infected 500 million people, I, I read. The second wave killed the most. Yes, Master. Altogether, 500 million people were infected. Imagine that. Yes. Unless we don't want to live anymore, go ahead, continue. Even the animal being tortured and hurt my heart so much, I can take them up to heaven. It is the humans that I'm worried about. Yes, Master. You know, waiting in this bloody sinful act and cooperation. Yes, Master. By eating it and supporting it and condoning this kind of animal's torture and killing. Huh? Yes, Master. It's not the pandemic we should worry about. Mm. It's not the pandemic that I'm in pain. Yeah. I'm in pain because they will go to hell and be in torture down there forever. Oh. Or at least for hundreds of years. It depends on how, how much of meat you eat. One of our association members, my disciple, she went to hell and she saw people being grinded into minced meat. Oh, yes. Three, four, five times a day, it depends. Depends on how big the amount of meat. Yes, Master. The one who created this world and captured the souls, he counted every centimeter of your wrongdoing, every morsel of meat that you consume. Wow. We're not let go. If you destroy his creation, he destroy you. He make you see that you should not. But he tempted you to do it. And then he punish you. That is the thing. That's why I hate these guys. Yes. I'm supposed to say, oh, it's okay, I forgive. No, I don't. I don't forgive this being, this okay. wicked, evil being. I forgive humans who sin, if they repent. Thank you, Master. The law of heaven, I, I could forgive all of them. It's just that they have to make their own part also. Yes. One percent part only, and I do the 99 percent. Wow. If they just repent in their heart, that's it, they'll go to heaven. Wow, okay. Repentant, sincerely. Yes. What will it take for that to happen? I don't know, sweetheart. I've been working all these decades, and many other saints and masters have been working all this time, since time and memory. And, but the Maya influence is too strong, yes. because we are gentle. They use magic, they use tactic, they use talk in the ear, murmuring, they use temptation, they use all kinds of things. It's all over, all around. Mm. And the saying, uh, only one or two. And his disciples are not many, especially in the old time, they're not that many. Yes. And nowadays we have more, and we have other co-workers, like uh, other vegan groups. Yes, Master. Vegan, vegetarian groups, uh, benevolent groups, they're working together. Yes. They came from heaven for these purposes. Oh, okay. Wow. In this time, they all have been sent down for this. So we're working together. Still is ingrained in people. Habit dies hard. I don't blame them either. I just feel so sorry only. For example, in our mind, it's been ingrained with something. It's like a computer. Yeah. Uh, even if you delete it, some experts still can dig it out. Yeah, that's true. The same on our brain computer. It's, it's more difficult to delete. It goes into subconscious mind and no one can delete that. Except the master at the time of initiation. There are some secret formula that he, she can do that. Wow. So the past karma, the past misdeed sin can be deleted. Okay. But the sin that have been laid down as a foundation for this lifetime cannot. Okay, yes. So after finishing this lifetime give and take, they can go to heaven because no more past karma to recycle. Ah, I see. To be going back to the circle again, to pay, to give and to take. You got that? Yes, Master. Otherwise, nobody can go out. If you finish this lifetime karma, you make new karma, you know, big or small, and you go back to the cycle again to pay, to give, to take. That's mm -hmm. why the devil wants to always tempt people to do bad so that they have to come back. And even do good, you have to come back to enjoy it. So the people who are rich, who are in a higher power position of the world, they came back because they have to enjoy their past life or lives, uh, good merit. That's why whatever we do, we have to credit it to God. We don't credit to ourselves. Okay. The Maya will write it down and say, okay, she says she did this good. She gave this person one dollar. So, of course, she has to come back to enjoy that because it will multiply. Okay. She will be rich and all famous. So karma includes bad and good. Mm -hmm. If you do good, you have to enjoy it. 
come back and enjoy it. So don't ever think that you do anything. Even work for SMTV, don't think that you're doing it. Give thanks every day that you are able to be a good, good, good instrument yes. to help others. And that is, should be our duty. But in the grace of God that we can do it. Yes, yes. Always give thanks. Never credit to yourself. Never give your ego a chance to record it and give it to the devil to count for you. Yes, Master. Yeah. Okay. You will have interest, good or bad. In the previous phone call, Master mentioned that heavens are being lenient with us humans. Is there a reason for the leniency? Yeah, we pray. We pray. Ah, uh, yeah. We pray. I pray. Remember, I say I'm the lawyer for humans. Mm-hmm. Yes. I say they are innocent. Yes, they master. are innocent. They are not to be blamed. Yes, they master. have been pushed into the sea, swimming and been blamed for getting wet or drowned. Yes. They just been trapped in here and do whatever it takes in their situation and in their minimal knowledge because all the wisdom has been wiped from them or screen cover from them. Yes. They don't know anything anymore. They just do what the situation demands, okay? Okay, yeah. And or influence from evil as well because of that. Is there any particular prayer or, or anything that Master would like to share with the world that would help people to remember God during such difficult times? It's just that and all my lectures. Oh. I don't know if it helps, or, but it does help some people. That's why we have uh, disciples. Yes, Master. But even disciples sometimes are also still low level and being badly influenced by the evil force and they do wrong things. Yes. To me particularly. Anything yeah. they do to me have the opposite yeah. effect yeah. and sometimes harmful to me. Yeah, if they're low level. That Maya force is taken away, but still something ingrained in people, still not yet completely clean. Yes, Master. They will not understand. If it's not completely clean, they don't understand what I'm saying. Okay. They don't blame the eating the animals instead, they just blame somewhere. We're going to where where or go where where to infect people uh, in a lab, a lab, yeah. and not the animals, each inhabit. These people, they are genuine. They blame it genuinely. They did not make it up. They did not make it up just to blame each other. And some of the government are blaming each other also. They did not make it up. They really believe in it. Wow. It's a too heavy dose of evil influence in their brain, in their mind. Just like people are gravely ill. Difficult to cure. Yes, Master. But the people are just the beginning of the sickness can be cured or mm-hmm. mild symptoms. Many of the people don't have symptoms at all. That means there are hundreds, at least, let me check the number. Okay. At least billions of people. At least one and a half billions of people right now are infected. Wow. I mean, carrying that strain, or one strain or another, but they don't have any symptoms. So you can never really control it well. But they can infect others. Of course they can. Oh. If you carry perfume on your body and your nose is dysfunction, you don't smell it, doesn't mean others cannot. Okay. If you have mud in your hands mm-hmm. and you, you don't see it because you're blind, but you can smear it on anywhere, on the wall, on your table, on other people when you touch it. Ignorance of sin is no excuse for the devil not to punish you. You make the sin and they still punish you, even though you don't know. That is a sin. Yes, Master. You're pushed to make that sin. This is a stupid and vicious system that I hate. It's got to stop. I will stop it. Just too long for Mm -hmm. my liking. Master, recently in the news, people have been going into the streets, like in the US, to protest against the lockdown due to COVID-19. Yes. Some also don't wear masks. What does Master think of this? Uh, very worrisome. Very worrisome. Yes. You can understand. You can, you can imagine. For that. sure, yes. Nobody liked the lockdown. Mm. Nobody. The people, of course, never wanted that. And the government neither. Yes, Master. Yes, both sides have their own problem. The people, they're not used to with being in the house all this time so long, weeks and months, and without work. Yes. And the government also don't want that, because they also have to pay a lot for yes. the people. Yes. And the government and the companies also have to pay. And so for many millions, 
tens of millions of people out of work and yeah. I don't really know also what to say. It, yeah. I really wish we don't have this pandemic because for the people to be locked down like that by order and then also the police has to work extra to enforce it. Yes, Master. And so the energy between the government, people and the police are not peaceful, of course. Yes. Even though the people know the police only do their job. Yes, Master. And the government only want the best for the people because they worry the pandemic will spread more out of control and everybody will get sick or die and worse. And even when they want to work, they cannot because they're sick or die. Oh, oh they're dying numbers now. <laughs> Body are rotten on the street in some country because nobody take care and oh. not enough people to take care and some people don't dare to take care or worry about the, the transmission. Yeah, oh my God. Like that, oh, and the government, of course, n never wanted this. First, the people never wanted this. They are not used to it, and they want to work to earn more money. See, even if the government gave them some social benefits, it's never as much as the government want to give because the fund of the government has also limits, yeah, and <laughs> millions of people. So mm -hmm. how can it be given as generously as when you're working? Yes. When you're working, you can control your income, eh? Yeah? The more you work, the more you get. That's right, yes, master. Get another job or double job, then you can have more money and you have more uh, working hours. So people feel very, very restricted and worry about their families. Not enough money to use. They have mortgage, they have car insurance. They have so many things, people outside, you know, they work hard because they have to spend a lot. The more you have, the more you have to work. So they cannot just stay home and feel okay about it. I hope they can find some meditation, some yoga, at least benefit their mental and spiritual side. And I hope that will help them a little bit to calm their nerves and to help them uplift their consciousness. I oh, hope so, yes, thank you, Master. And they might be able to accept the situation in a better way and praying for the better tomorrow. The government, I'm sure they don't want that because they know that people see the lockdown as the restriction of freedom. Yes. Yeah? And in many of the free countries, this go against their constitution. Yes. But I don't think the government ever wanted this to happen. Nobody ever wanted it, either people or the government or the police. Everybody liked peace and normal life. Yes, Master. Like this, every nation lost a lot, a lot of money because of business closed. Uh, lack of tax and lack of workforce and like a food supply and medical supply and all kind of supply are lacking right now because the people cannot go out, cannot work, cannot spend. And many food cannot sell in the restaurant and in the supermarket or other small shops. Many related to food are rotten. A lot more business, lots more money, more subsidized for different businesses. So no government ever wants this kind of thing. And they know well it's against the people's favor. And even the people know that. They also cannot just sit, some of them, not bear it. Yes, Master. Their children need something and their family needs some extra income. They're subsidized from the government or the, the company are, are limited. Yes, Master. And that's already very good. Imagine if the government don't give them any money. Yeah, true. They would be starving inside their house. Oh, my. In some country, if don't have government subsidized because of too many people or it's a poor country, then people are worse off. They don't have anything. Like mm -hmm. some country, people sell things on the street and that's their income and they live from hand to mouth. And now it's very, very... Oh, people. It's desperate for them. Yes, Master. It's desperate for everybody. And worry in their heart, in their mind, and troublesome in their... Mental thinking every day. Every day is bad news. Nothing good yet. So many doctors die and nurses mm. die and hospital personnel die because of this disease as well. They're on the front line and they got sick easily. Also not enough equipment to protect them personally. Mm. That is a terrible situation for our world right now. It seems so desperate. Yeah, the longer it lasts, I don't know where people are going. I don't know if the government even have enough money to continue to hand out, mm -hmm. subsidize for people who, who are out of work because of the COVID-19. 
Yeah. I feel sorry for the government also because <laughs> they they cannot not lock people down and they cannot let people out. Yes. They are like stuck in between. They also want to. Yes. Some government, some state or some area would have want to give in and let people go to work. But in many places, I heard it in Japan, they thought it's okay and they released the lockdown and then immediately, oh, it jumped. Oh. The death and the infected numbers jump so high. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's so, an example. Very mm -hmm. scary right now. So I'm sure people also don't want to go protest to cause trouble for the police and for themselves. Uh, to be in jail and for to be cop and all that. It's just that uh, everyone is desperate right now. People are desperate to go back to normal and they worry about their future if their money no more. Their saving is going low or none. And the government are desperate. They want to help their people. They want to protect their people. And they just have to just do that and just stand by and watch. That's why some leaders or government, they blaming each other because they are so worried and so desperate for their people. Yes, Master. Every leader wants to help the people. Like this, they feel helpless. They feel helpless in their position. Oh. So the best thing they can do is to protect the people, to keep people in the house so that they don't get infected. Yes, Master. Or if they are mildly affected or they are immune against this, even though they carry the virus, they will not infect other people. Yes, Master. Okay. So it's best to stay at home? I think until it is sure that the infection is really under control for the people's health and life's sake. Or people have to think of the way to protect themselves when they go out. Similar to the nurses and the doctors in the hospital, complete protection until everything is sure under control. I wish people can also be free to move around. It's just very scary for them right now. Pray God, pray God, pray God. Pray God that everything will be more clear and better that people will understand the real root cause of the problem. Because we always had plague and infection and epidemic, uh, pandemic. So they should understand the root cause of the problem. Pray that they come soon. Otherwise, uh, we cannot just rely on science. Yeah. This mm -hmm. is a short-term solution. A long-term solution is that we have to become more like the children of God. Yes, Master. Or Buddhas. Then everything will be fine. Pray God. Pray God. Pray everyone. It's not only money and job. Some people have just a very small studio and apartment. Yeah. Truly very small. For example, in Japan, Tokyo, or in Hong Kong, where land are very uh, precious. Yes. Space are almost impossible to expand and people live in just a very, very tiny divided apartment. Like a normal apartment, maybe four square meters, they divide it into three or four, you understand? Yes. And each one live in one. And normally if they can go out, it doesn't matter. They go out to work and then they go out in the park or in the shop and they go eat in restaurant and then they come back to sleep only and take shower, then it's okay. Yeah. But now they cannot go out at all. Yes, Master. So difficult. Yes, the poor people are the most affected. Yeah. And that's why they just broke out. So you can't blame them and you can't blame the government. I also don't know what to say. Oh. Just pray. Yes, Master. Master, if the situation was to reverse quickly, if we all went total vegan, how quickly would the energy change of this world and would the virus completely disappear? It would change almost immediately. It's just that what is already on, we have to carry for a while. But shorter than if it hasn't. Okay. They have to find a vaccine. But then, even then, it's through the grace of heaven and through the diminishing of the retribution, the interference of good people, saints, sages, and benevolent people 
vegan people. And for example, like my disciples or other disciples or the good group outside, because of all this benevolent energy that minimize it and heaven's leniency okay. because of interference yeah. from Master. Thank God for I, Master. I forever argue. But still, it's too heavy karma. I, I have to be fair also. If they continue to torture animals, that won't help. If they could die one day or another, it's just the torturing, the imprisoning, the, the, the way they treat it. It's evil. Yes, Master. Yes. The evil energy will breed evil energy. Heaven cannot just ignore the cry and the suffer and the mourning and the lamenting of the beings, the living beings, like innocent, intelligent, benevolent animals. Yes, Master. Wise, innocent, benevolent, helpful. Yes. Is there anything more that uh, the disciples can do? I mean, I know we're doing it, but maybe there's something more that we could do. Maybe go out into the streets or I don't know. Oh, any group already go out in the street, it's fall into deaf ear. It affect a handful of people. We have to save time to meditate, to pray. Yes. Each one has different uh, job. Okay, yes. That is a job of all the group. Got it, Master. Yeah, they still have to do it, of course. It will influence somehow, some degree. We do different things. We must pray in silence. We must meditate. Okay. For the world to go vegan. World vegan will breed lasting world peace. Will breed benevolent energy for all beings, including humans, and then they won't get such sickness again. Even if they have to go through this sickness now, they turn vegan in the future. We don't have any more pandemic or epidemic anymore. Yes. Our world has forever pandemics and epidemics because we continue to kill. Look back at the history. Black plague or bubonic plague and the measles. Even now, the measles are coming back. Oh, wow. For example, and Ebola. In some countries, we have not just a uh, virus, uh, COVID-19. We don't just have that. We have all the uh, looming threat everywhere. And if they continue to eat wild animal on animals, they're going to have another black soon or brewing. And every time uh, it's hopeless uh, because they have not encountered these things before. Yes, yes. And then they don't know the nature of virus. Up to now, still don't. For everybody, it's a guessing game and blaming game. Stop blaming each other. Mm. Oh, that's useless to blame. Now is the time for the world to recognize that we all face it together. Yes. And we all have one enemy. That is the evil. And that has driven us to eat meat and to sin. Therefore, we have this consequence. So we have to unite together, recognize all that, and stop that. Stop from the root. Not watering water from the leaves, but water the tree from the root. The root cause is the wicked way, the devil way, evil way that we treat other beings. Innocent, helpless, harmless, and helpful beings. Yes. Intelligent beings, benevolent beings, wise beings, our helpers, our teachers, our friends, yeah. our benefactors, the animals. That's the root of all this problem in the world, of all ills, war. Mm. When the world does go vegan, Master, how do you see this world? How do you see humans? Peace, happy, never any sickness of that again. Except the small sickness maybe have to pay because of the laid out plan for this life. Yes, Master. So even Master has to undergo it. Because if you don't have this uh, blueprint of a lifelong plan for your lifetime, for your physical existence, you can't exist. Just like a house, have a blueprint and they're built accordingly. Yes, Master. And it has permission already. You can't just demolish it for no reason. You can't change it. You already have a blueprint, the constructing plan. Yes. Approved by the government. Okay, yes. If you change, you have to make another one. Okay. Another one meaning the person has to die to change it. But the way they're doing bad deeds with their life, they will make it a worse blueprint only next time. They can't change it, okay? Yes. They have to come back and repay all the deeds, bad deeds. As you sow, so shall you reap. Yes, Master. They so clearly in any scriptures of the religions. No need me to say anything anymore. People just don't want to understand. Yeah. The bad influence of the evil make them blind, deaf, dumb. Yes, Master. So the thing I told you is so clear, like the sunlight. But for them, eh, what? What did you say? They don't even understand, they don't even hear anything. Yeah. 
Yes, Master. It was said in the Bible. Otherwise, uh, one Master came down enough to save all already. Yes. But now that we do away with the Maya, so soul don't get trapped in here anymore afterward in the future. Yes, Master. If they are vegan right now, except the small or some inevitable consequences of the past karmic deeds that they have to endure this lifetime, we don't have any more pandemic, we don't have any more sickness. We will have forever peace between nations. Wow. Everyone will be happy, have everything to eat. All the harvest will be plentiful again. And we'll be friends with the animals. Yeah. The animals will have peace also. Yeah. All beings will have peace. Oh, good. Can't wait. Yeah, I know. I'm working on it. Thank you. Never one day I forget. Never one day I'm not working for it. I believe you must, I know, for sure. Master, your universal worth, that is intact now. I remember last time? Yes, yes. yes. It has been cheap a little bit, but uh, I'm, I have more in reserve, so it's cheap a little bit. Whenever I have to see people, I don't see people, but just sometimes accidentally, for example. Like if I just walk out and then uh, accidentally that person there. Okay. Up to now, only some, okay? It's manageable. If I have to travel out to go to another area, I change area already. It's time to change. So I travel at night, so I don't see people a lot. If I have to talk to you right now, and if you broadcast it, then it will chip. If it's in the world or how world, then I will lose a lot. But I will make it back. Don't worry. Not just worth spiritual merit and physical health and uh, all kind of thing. Yes, it will happen unfavorably, but I tell you, I'm ready to lay down my life, so um, what else to talk about? Understand. Thank you for your love, Master. Thank you. Always. Uh, <laughs> I'm born with it. <laughs> 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 I made a song, uh, What Can I Do With My Heart, you know? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's so lovely. Um, another question from a sister. It's... um on a different um, line. Yeah. Could Master share more about the newly mentioned uncreated universe? What kind of beings reside there? How can I tell you something that you have never heard of and <laughs> could never imagine? I, I could not tell you. Okay. I just tell you that there are such words. Johnny Oscar, never born, never die, uncreated. Yes, just yes. like God. How can I describe God to you? Yes. Except I say God is forever loving. Understand. There is nothing to describe because they don't have a resemblance of any beings on this planet or any planet, even Eosku. Wow. There's no resemblance of anything mm -hmm. that is ever created. Just like God Almighty. You know, you feel, maybe you believe He exists. She, he has existed. But you do not know what has looked like. You cannot describe it, okay? Yes, Master. Okay. And the fifth level beings you can't describe already, not to talk about outside of the shadow world. Yes, Master. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, one question from a brother. How can those who serve God be better tools for God? Are there any new tips or information, um, physically or spiritually, that Master may know that can help those who serve be more capable? I may know, but you might not be able to. <laughs> Humility. Ah, okay. Humility. Respect. Yes. Okay? Yes, Master. Because if I say that, it seems like self-serve. You have to respect your Master. Of course. The one that saved your souls and many of your generations. Number one. Number two, you have to be humble. Yes, Master. Your tools. Always be grateful to God's grace that you are able to do this noble job. Never think that you are doing it. Because that, you stop the flow of the blessing. Stop the flow of inspiration. Yes, Master. Always be humble, 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 and grateful. That's all. Okay. Oh, humble. Okay. Humble, yes. <laughs> Train yourself to do it if you can. The problem is, each one have ego. Yeah. It's difficult to think that uh, it's not you who do it. You understand that. It's just that you cannot practice very well. The more you can practice that, the more your talent will bloom and on to the higher levels. Okay. So that's what I can tell you. Humble, grateful, respectful. Respectful for your master. She represents high heaven. She represents God Almighty. 
you must respect. Yes, Master. And you will have more marriage, more beautiful happenings in your life, more happiness, more leisure, more lightness, more improvement in your meditation and in your work and your talent, anything. And then humble. That respect and gratefulness also included in humility. So maybe it's too much to talk to you, then just say, Humility, okay? Okay. <laughs> Humbleness. Because if you're humble, then you feel grateful. You know, you are nobody. Then you are grateful. Yes. Whatever you are given, your talent or whatever. Yes, Master. And if you're humble, then you're grateful for the initiation which saved your soul forever. And many generations, your generation forever. And if you're humble, then you also be respectful to your Master who helped you. Hmm? Yes, Unconditionally. Thank you. Oh, humility, one word. Humble. <laughs> Humbleness. Any more questions? Uh, that's it. I thought you'd scare me with 20 plus well, questions. Listed there are 20, but they kind of overlap and Master covered quite a bit already. Don't okay, my it. calendar, famous calendar, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Because one thing we always lead to the others, you know? Yes. It can never be just black and white in this field of spiritual discussion. That's true. So if I have covered it all, then uh, wonderful. Thank you so much for your time. I'm not so scared anymore. <laughs> oh. When you say 20 plus, I say, oh my God, <laughs> we have to talk for hours on end or what. <laughs> all right, that's it. And uh, thank you all for the job that you have done well uh, last time with the instruction. Mm. Yes, Master. And this time I think you will also be well. Yes, we will do the same. We are nothing, okay? Okay. In this physical domain, I still am very humble. You don't see it? But I am. Yes. I'm always thanking all the goddesses. Even today I talk with the god of war for some question. And I thank him. He is in the shadow world and he is not the big god. But I still thank him with all my respect, truly. I respectfully salute him and thank him for doing a good job. Wow. And thank him for answering me. But I cannot disclose this conversation, okay? Understand, yes. I also need to talk to uh, some local country god. Each country has a god. Wow. Who oversee their doing. He is not influencing anything. He is just recording, okay? Okay. Yes, yeah. so that he can put it in the Akashic library in all human activities, okay? Yes. Nothing is ever lost. Whatever you do, whatever you think, <laughs> whatever you don't do, is all there. Wow. We can never deny our sins. We can never cover it. We can never hide the transparency of the universe. Yes, Master. We have the body, so we don't have to know too much of other people's wrongdoing or hidden uh, sins. And that's a blessing also, because if we know, we will be sick, vomiting, and we'll be not able to bear the inside of them, not just the outside. Even we see the animals suffering, torturing like that. We suffer so much already. Not to talk about, to know everybody else, sinful thinking and act. Yes, Master. Hidden from physical eyes. In this physical world, we have a physical body. It is an obstruction, but it's a blessing. Okay. Today I have talked. Yesterday, the day before, I talked to uh, quite a few different goddesses for different things. Wow. I'm always grateful. Yes, Master. I'm very grateful even to my dogs when they tell me something. Oh, yes. I thank them. I thank the spiders, and I promise them to take them up to heaven. Master, that does come across, that you are always grateful. Oh, I see. Yes, for sure. What I mean is I'm telling you this so that you know that I'm not just telling you things. I'm doing it myself. Yes. That's why I know the depth of that meaning, okay? Yes. Because if you just blah, 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 it won't affect people too much. Yes, so Master. I think you can benefit from my attitude, my humble energy and to do the same, okay? Yes, Master. Thank you. Pray for that. You cannot feel yourself humble enough. Pray for it. Please, make me more humble, as humble as possible, so that I can serve God. I can serve the suffering. Yes, Master. Lessen their anguish and sorrow, okay? <laughs> Let's okay. hope for that. <laughs> yes, Master. Yes, we pray. <laughs> you just touched my heart again. I cannot, I cannot forget. We'll keep praying, Master. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh. Thank you so much. Okay, uh, any 
more that you're not clear, you can ask me. I say I'm scared, but I'm not that scared, okay? You can ask me hundreds of questions. <laughs> as long as it help you, help all of your co-staff and help the world, I'm willing to sit all day to talk. Okay? Thank you. Uh, that's all. That's all we have. Very good. And all your guys good. Now, weather is better. It should be better. All of you are happy and healthy. I'm so happy. Yes. <laughs> Glad. Thank you. Yeah. God bless, Master. I put protection as much as I can around all of you guys. So oh, wow. I did. I asked the gods also to protect you guys. Thank you. Thank you so much. Whatever little thing you have to go through, a little headache here and there, it's maybe sometimes too much work. Okay. The physical cannot react the way we want. Okay, huh? It's true. Yes. Rest, deep rest, go out, exercise. Okay. Do push up. Yes. You must, okay? Okay, we must. The nature, exercise. So that you can uh, boost the immune system. Hmm? Okay, Master. Give the body what it needs and eat well. Yes, Master. Eat well doesn't mean uh, glutinous. <laughs> no, of course. <laughs> well, no. eat a combination. Okay. Enough and meditate enough. That's important. At least four hours a day for you guys. Yes, Master. Otherwise you cannot uh, function. Yes. So you guys still continue meditating even if you do your work, okay? Yes, Master. Maybe deadline, you miss it, then you have to make it up later. Meditate more. Okay, thank you, yes. Because we have to get out of here. Yes, Master. Even if I can get you out, but I want you to go out in a higher level. Not just out, <laughs> liberated from the three worlds only. Okay, thank you. Also, yes. if you meditate, you can do your job well. You can have also a little blessing into your work as well. Okay, and for yourself. Okay. Digest my blessing and heaven's blessing. Meditate is like eating. You must. Okay? Yes. All right. God bless all of you. And uh, God love all of you. I love you. Be good. And be humble. Be benevolent. Okay? In your heart. Thank you, Master. Thanks all the girls yeah, for all the questions and the boys. Yes, we'll do. <laughs> I do thank whenever I do the uh, check-in of their shows. Yes, Master. If they're doing good. If not, then I say, no, this is no good, no good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It might hurt their ego, but I have to. Of course, yes. Right, tell them I just have to tell the truth, always. Yes, Master. Right, thank you. Thank you. I thank all of you, sincerely. Thank you. Humbly. Yeah. Bye. Bye-bye. Cherished viewers, we appreciate your company for today's episode entitled Whoever Repents Will Go to Heaven Part 3 of 3 on Between Master and Disciples which took place on April 29, 2020. Coming up next is from Marcus Aurelius Meditations Book 2 Part 1 of 2 on Words of Wisdom right after noteworthy news. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television for more positive programming. May the divine blessings bring you eternal bliss. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash BMD.